Hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Veil. I'm Jessica on today's video. We're gonna try something a little bit different that I've never done before. I've actually seen this video on Samantha March's channel. Um, if you wanna take a look, I will link it down in the description bar below her video on this. This is the nine brands that I wanna try in 2019. So I've just recently started watching Samantha March. I think she's um, really interesting in some of the videos that she chooses to do. Uh, she comes up with some really great ideas and I saw her do this a couple weeks ago or maybe a week ago or so and I thought that was a pretty good idea and she's done this the last couple of years so she did like 7 and 17 8 and 18 and now 9 and 19 so I will link her channel down below if you're interested but that is where this video idea came from so anyway let's go ahead and get into it I went through and I looked through uh, Sephora, I looked through Ulta, I looked through, you know, some of the, the uh, creators that I watch on a regular basis to see some of the brands that they use um, in different videos throughout the year. And, you know, there's just some that some brands that just kept popping up. And then there's some newer brands that I've found recently. So I have a whole list here in my notebook. And I'm just going to walk through the ones that um, I'm interested in trying in 2019. So the first one that I have on my list is AOA Studios. So uh, Shop Miss A is a website. I think a couple of you guys have actually recommended me give it a try, maybe do a haul and do a try on video with AOA Studio. All of their products, I think, are a dollar. They might have a couple that might be two or three dollars, but um, originally I think all of their products were a dollar. So uh, it is kind of like a dollar store. I did do a dollar store video earlier this year that I went to my Dollar General or my Dollar Dollar Tree, I think is what it's called here, uh, our Dollar Tree tree down the street and bought a whole face of dollar store makeup. It's actually still sitting in a bag over there. <laughs> um, I really haven't used any of those products since then because none of them really like knock my socks off. So I've heard some really good stuff about AOA Studio. A lot of this, the uh, YouTubers that I do watch um, use these brands or have done videos with this brand uh, on a couple of occasions. So it's something that I've just been interested in giving a try. All right, the second item or the second brand that I'm interested in giving a try is Bad Habit. So if you're familiar with this brand at all, this is the brand that does like dupes of higher end products. I think they came out with a bunch of Anastasia palettes and I do love my Anastasia palettes. In fact, I think I've purchased every one that they've come out with since I started my channel. Uh, so that would be Modern Renaissance. And since then, including the ones from like last holiday season that weren't their best palettes. I did buy them. I like them. I still use them today. Um, I don't personally think they're bad. I know some people really didn't like like subculture. Um, but I didn't buy mine until a little bit after the whole hoopla went down. So I had a better idea of how to use it with being very sparing and being very careful when you put your, your brush in the palette and so on and so forth. But anyway, um, the palettes that I'm really interested in giving a try are the um, dupes for the Huda Beauty palettes. Um, I have not tried any of the Huda Beauty palettes and she's not actually on my list because I have tried her lip products, but not her eyeshadows. So I just stuck with with uh, brands that I have not tried any products from this year. So anyway, Bad Habit is one that I do wanna try. I wanna try out those, those dupes. So I don't know, that might be something that I'm definitely uh, gonna look into. The third brand that I'm interested in is Joa. It's a new brand that is in CVS. It's supposed to be a K-beauty inspired brand. And I'm very, very curious. I actually saw the Taylor do a video about them and a couple of, the, of other uh, YouTubers did um, like the new, the new brand in CVS kind of a thing. So I don't shop in CVS very often. My uh, teenager actually works at Rite Aid. So it's a little bit of a, um, conflict of interest, so to speak, to go to CVS. But really it's because Rite Aid is closer to me than CVS where I live. Uh, there's like this, I live in a little town in Pennsylvania and there's three Rite Aids and only one CVS. So there's that, but Rite Aid's actually headquartered not too far from where I live. So I think that's probably part of the reason. Anyway, um, I will eventually try the Joa brand. I'm pretty sure I'll just go into my CVS and get it. Although because of where we live, the newer brands have a tendency to, to just take forever to get into CVS. I'm not opposed to necessarily buying it online, um, but I'm probably gonna wait until I find a deal where it's like buy one, get one 50% off, something like that. 
All right, brand number four that I'm interested in trying is Beauty by Pop Sugar. Um, I remember looking at Pop Sugar a couple um, months ago, maybe a year ago, uh, just as they were starting to do, I think, don't they have a subscription box? I'm pretty sure they have a subscription box. And I was looking into their subscription box, but now they are actually in Ulta stores. So I'm very curious to give them a try. I know that they were doing like reviews and that sort of thing, I think, ahead of time. I think so. Um, so I, I am going to look into them a little bit more and possibly give the, them a try. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I found them in Ulta. Um, I don't think they're in my Ulta store, but you can definitely get it online. So that's another uh, brand that I'm very curious about giving a try. The next one, number five, is Ilia. This is a brand that is in Sephora. And I did actually watch a video where Jam Beauty had done like a try on of a lot of their new products, or I guess it's a newer brand in general, and did a try on of a lot of their products. And I think that they, um, there was a few of them that I remember her liking, but she didn't like the whole line. But I think that they, they're definitely a newer brand and they're still coming out with new products every day. And I definitely want to give them a try. Um, so there's that. Uh, the next brand, number six, is Thrive Cosmetics. Now, I did just get a product from Thrive in my um, winter FabFit Fun Box. I have not given it a try yet. So I, I'm just going to count this as a brand I want to try in 2019, even though I have one product that I did just get in my uh, box. So uh, Kathleen Lights loves their products. I think it's their powder and their mascara are two that she's constantly, um, in a lot of her videos recently, uh, raving about. And they have a good mission as well. Uh, if every product you buy, they donate a product. So that's really uh, an awesome thing as far as I'm concerned. The next brand that I've never tried before that I'm very curious about is Colored Rain. Uh, I've heard great things about their products. I've heard great things about a variety of their products, not like just one like lipstick over eyeshadow or whatever. Um, I've actually heard a lot of good things about a lot of their products. And I think that they, I think I found them on Ulta. I th are they, are they start, have they started being sold in Ulta or am I just imagining that? I can't remember. Um, but it's definitely a, a brand that I am curious about and I definitely want to give a look in 2019. I've seen a few of their palettes. I've heard people rave about their palettes and I'm very curious about them. Number eight is Beauty Bakery. And this is a brand that is definitely in Ulta now. I just saw it. It got there recently. And this this brand seems to be very um, hit or miss for different people. I saw a video months ago where Tati did a full face of Beauty Bakery trying out their products. And there were some products that she really didn't like in that video. And then there were some products that she did like. I've heard mixed reviews over their products. So I'm very curious. The whole packaging of it is very, very cute. If you've never seen it before, um, Every product that they sell has like a bakery or a baking type of theme to it. And I find that very cute and the packaging is just adorable. So I'm very curious about it. Um, like I said, the actual products I've heard varying reviews on. So I'm not 100% sure that their products are going to be the best for my skin and my skin type. And um, But I, I have heard some good things about some of their products. So I'm very curious about that. And number nine, my final brand that I am very curious about is Storybook Cosmetics. And this brand recently got into, um, I think it's an Ulta. It might be Sephora, but I'm pretty sure it's Ulta uh, as well. And uh, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like snobby and I'm only going to buy products that are in Ulta or Sephora. But to be perfectly honest, it's not that I wouldn't buy from these individual websites, but then I have to create an account on every single website. And I have to remember my password on every single website. And then I got to put my credit card information in or maybe just use PayPal. And it's just honestly, it's it's a lot to try to track all the passwords that I already have. <laughs> um, Plus their rewards program is pretty good on Ulta. Um, Ulta is my favorite rewards program. So four is okay. Ulta is a lot better, but, um, and then I also buy some stuff from Beautylish as well, but I don't think any of these brands are on Beautylish. So Storybook Cosmetics, I'm very curious because they have a really neat way in which they theme their products. They always do it after, you know, some sort of book, you know, that's, that's their whole thing. And uh, I really think that's kind of cool. So I know this is kind of like a quick short video, but those are the nine brands that I personally am very excited and very interested in trying in 2019. Uh, I know this is a little bit different. I don't think I've ever done anything quite like this video before. Um, 
But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit the red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. I do currently also have a giveaway going on right now. All you need to do is subscribe. Go back to the video that I posted on Tuesday of this week. It's called my holiday giveaway, I think is what it's called. Um, and take a look at that and leave a comment on that video and you'll be entered to win my holiday giveaway. Um, and let me know uh, in the comment section down below what your brands that you're looking at uh, for next year. I'm very curious. I know that mine have um, a little bit of overlay with Samantha's. I know that she wanted to see Beauty by Pop Sugar. She was interested in that. Um, I think she might have also mentioned Thrive. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I, I watched her video like a week and a half ago. And go by golly, I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> so there's that. I probably should watch less. Um, anyhow, I do, uh, I, I did think this was a cute idea. I'm going to keep this list on my desk in front of me and, uh, keep going back to it so that I remember to at least use a, a couple of these products, if not all of them. I'm very curious about, um, uh, several of these are like, as soon as I started to think about this list, uh, several of these like popped out right away. Um, you know, and in fact, almost all of them popped out right away in my head. I, I did go through the Ulta and Sephora websites just to look at new brands. Um, but several of these like AOA Studio, Bad Habit, Joa, they were like, they just rolled off my tongue immediately. Um, Thrive Cosmetics, because Kathleen Lights has been talking about it so much recently. Um, Storybook Cosmetics has been a little quiet as of late, but they were doing the, like the, the rose brushes for Beauty and the Beast and they did um, the wand brushes and, and that sort of thing. So that's been curious uh for me beauty bakery colored rain i've heard great things about colored rain eyeshadows so anyway these are just the brands that i'm interested in so let me know what your guys are interested in down below as well um one more thing, if you didn't know, I did open an online clothing boutique with my sister. Uh, stay tuned to that website because, or our Instagram because there might be an after Christmas sale coming very, very soon. Very, very soon. Our store is linked in the description down below. It is nimines.com. So check it out if you are interested and um, come back in a couple of days and see if we have an after Christmas sale. I think we're going to. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.